So this is the most um, reliable way, I think, to try and get my voice to show up. And I hope it does. Um, this is 54. And my sweet neighbor put up this little sign that has been flapping about in my day to day. And that has been extraordinary to have that happening. When I woke up and I came out, I thought, oh, who put a sign up for me? Because I thought last night, I thought, are you gonna are you gonna tear the letters for yourself? You've never done that before. Are you gonna do it? And I didn't do it. So <laughs> when I woke up and there was a sign, it was so beautiful, and I thought, oh, is it on the inside of my house or the outside? And it turned out to be on the outside, so it was even more spectacular. On the inside, it would have made me a little concerned. <sighs> It's been a marvelous birthday. My mother woke me up and sang to me. She didn't wake me up and sing to me, but she called me early in the morning and sang to me, which is sometimes her custom. And I, uh, if she doesn't beat me to it, I call her and thank her for my life. And that has deep and significant meaning to the two of us, or to me, <laughs> probably, as the one who thinks the most about such things. Oh, overthinkers are a special breed in a pandemic time when they live alone. But all day long, sweet, sweet people, Facebook friends, many of them who've been friends for five years, six years, seven years, ten years, um, you know, sent me happy birthday messages again. We talk directly once a year. <laughs> And they send me happy birthday and I send them a sticker that says thank you or I love you or arms in the air or all those things. And I just love that sweet exchange to honor the birth of people. To honor that they got here to this earth, to this life. I had the sweetest dream of my ex-husband actually. And we were who we are now in the dream, but we were in all the places we had made special and sacred because of our travels to them. And it was just so beautiful in the dream to touch those places and to realize I had a great first husband, last husband, 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 and for the years I was married, I did my best. I was as good a wife as I will ever get to be to him. And uh, there was beauty and closure and gratitude. And I, we looked together at our children in this dream and felt all the things I ever, you know, I could imagine feeling, you know with somebody you did something so spectacular with. And then the kids called so I could tell them about the dream I had about their dads. <laughs> they could know it's all good. It's all so good. What has come and gone before? And the pictures came up of my 50th and the partner I had then and the sweet way she learned to play the ukulele so she could sing me happy birthday on that day. The kind, beautiful impulse to invite my friends to the beach because that's all I would tell her I wanted. And however that was or wasn't, and however it ended up, I have been lucky in love. And even in this, uh, experiment of the last few years, the on again, off againness. I am so happy in every picture we took. And I, I, I have been a good human. I have been a good and not so good wife and partner and friend and lover. And all day, the people who choose to remain in relationship with me in 
relatedness with me. They showed up in words. And even some who had fallen out, who've closed their doors with their boundaries and kept their stories, whatever they want them to be, with the ending they've given them, even though we still breathe and live. Like, I honor that path. It's okay to shut doors. And it's okay to open them. And so with my confidence <laughs> and my happiness, I took myself to the grocery store and I bought myself roses and chocolate and I was the best partner and friend and wife and lover to myself today. And that's something I always wanted to know how to be. So on this first day of 54, I know how to be that to myself. And that for all of us who wanted to marry ourselves and marry the earth and marry our God and our goddess and to live in service, like that's a thing, you know? Can I take care of myself? Can I at least take care of myself? Can I have some left over to give to people and things I believe in? Can I do what comes to my crossroads to do in this world? Can I show up as myself and be loved? Can I stop all pretense and just be? And today I could answer yes to all of those questions. Yes, I can be. Yes, I can take care of myself. Yes, I can see myself as I am at 54 without makeup, with more middle than I need. And I can love her. I can look in every mirror and love her, this woman I've become. <sighs> what a journey to get to this now. I am so very, very grateful for it. Thanks for showing up for me today. I am grateful for your sacred witness. I pray that wherever you are, you can have that same contentment or your version of it, where you can look yourself in the eye and know you've done your best and your worst. And you love yourself on the other side. <sighs> Blessings on our birth and our earth to share. Sweet dreams when you get there. <laughs>